In this video, I want to show you how to change animations. I'm going to switch the hammer animation. So after this video, we're no longer going to need to instantiate the hammer or the hammer related VFX. First, I'm going to go to mixamo.com and look for another punch animation. the cross punch. I'm going to download it. 60 frames per second. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to put it into my Mixamo animations folder. Drag it in there. And I'm going to do the usual stuff. Change the rig into humanoid. Apply. Configure. Sample T-bind pose apply done and i'm going to rename the animation just like from the website i'm going to call it cross punch i'm going to go to the animator window and i'm going to rename this so instead of the hammer down i'm going to call it cross punch and I'm going to use the punching animation instead of the hammer and I'm going to get rid of all the previous abilities I'll also return the speed back to one and I'm going to click play see how the animation fits into the player okay as you can see, the rotation doesn't fit. Adjust the numbers. So I think the angle is a little better this way. And I also think the animation is a little too slow. So maybe two point, maybe double the speed and try again. So instead of the hammer, we now have the punch. Okay. And I don't want the entire animation. So trim it down a little bit, apply, now we want the animation to start registering the attacks, so I'm going to go to the states, player, create a new folder, I'll call it cross punch, go in there, create a new ability, attack, I'll name it player cross punch attack and it's going to use the right hand as we saw don't have any specific death types the right hand must collide with the target and maximum hits for a straight right punch should just be one I'm also going to debug this and figure out the exact time for the start and the end. I'll start with a guess. Start at 0 0.3 and end at 0 0.6. I'm gonna go into the attack script and I'm gonna go down to the attack register part. Press F9 and attach to Unity. This is going to allow us to figure out exactly when the attack register begins. So if I click play and do the attack,
we forgot to have the attack ability. Okay, now if I click play, and do the attack, so this is where 30% of the animation is. I'll change this to 0 0.5. Okay, that looks much better. I'm also going to put the breakpoint at the D register. So F9. And 60% is way too early. I'm going to try 80% for the D register. Okay, that looks about right. Maybe 75. Okay, it's a little more accurate. So 50% to 75 is the actual attack time. So this is done. And if I go attack the enemy, okay, we get the attack register. I also want a bit of forward movement, so right click, create a move forward for the player cross punch, move forward, it's going to be a constant with a locked direction, and I only want movement in the beginning, the very beginning of the animation. Something like this. All right. And I'm going to add the move forward ability to the punch. So every time we punch, we're now going to have the player move forward. I forgot to add the speed. I'll try 5, block distance 0 0.1. It okay, looks like we need to stop earlier. Change the numbers a little more, maybe 3.5 for speed. I'm just going to try this out.
Right, this is me just fine tuning the animation. We might need a little more movement, forward movement. Maybe a bit more duration here. Okay, I think that looks good enough for me. And by repeating the same process, I can add many different animations for attacks. I'm going to add a lot more in the future, but for the next video, I think I'm just going to move on to other systems. So that'll be for today. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.